Hey, hey, this is the Sounds on Vinyl show, the only show on the planet that will make your ears bleed. My name, as always, is Phil Boyer, and the guy right next to me over here, his name's Mike Svensson, lead singer extraordinaire, past, present, and future. And uh, before we dive into the show, watch to the end, because we're going to have a very special announcement. One of many we're going to be making over the next few shows. So watch to the end. Oh, yeah. Watch to the end. Damn watch it. to the end. Damn All it. All right. What's going on, Mike? Oh, you, you know what? You know what? what? I just figured it out. Is, see this guy here? Can you yeah, see it? It's him? hard to tell, but yes. It's, yes, it's the coop. Is it? Live. Okay. Yeah, it it's, is. It's kind of small. And, and my eyes, yeah. I got old eyes, so I, yeah. can't, I can't really see. But so that, that that's... That's Alice himself. Yeah. The man, the myth, and the and, legend. Yeah. And you see, it's, it's, it's all in it, the stars are aligned, man. So, <laughs> and I'm good. I'm, I'm actually in my store at the moment, as you can see. That's the why the world famous record store, the world famous record store, the Sounds on Vinyl record store in Malmo. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there we go. A lot of records behind me. If mm -hmm. I do it like this, you can see yeah. my, yeah wall of news and my crates down mm -hmm. what the f where the fuck am i i don't know there <laughs> which is weird because when this airs yes you'll actually be in the store selling records yes i will so I will. it's kind of so. it's it's because it, you're closed right now at, at the moment yep but you will be serving up records and treats and fun and conversation and the whole thing here yes. as this airs oh yeah so that's exciting it is it is that's especially exciting. for me because i get to meet a lot of cool people uh it's it's strange but I, I, one of this i have to tell you a story i got one of those regulars that it, i mean it's sort of like it's strange when you meet people that um, i bet you're the same age listen to the same stuff growing up he's a bit older than me uh, quite, quite a few years older but who cares it is like this um he's uh one of those guys that were um sort of like he, he he's a customer but it's sort of like it's beginning to merge into a friendship if you know what i mean mm -hmm. we we meet up at, at shows and and whatnot and and we see each other every now and then. It's not that we 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 spend time together, but it's sort of like accidentally. Oh, so you're going to that show too? Okay, yeah, me too. Maybe we we'll meet up, and it it becomes becomes a thing where you think, hmm, this is strange. <laughs> um, but how cool is it? So uh, I have to do a shout out to Jonas. Uh, a amazing guy, uh, he, the the one I told you about that met up with uh, the Ramones and and Clash and and whatnot oh, yeah, back yeah, in the yeah. day had had a fun scene and uh, been to uh, the the show in Copenhagen where Maiden opened up for Kiss in 1980, took pictures is up real close you can see Paul Dianos, uh <laughs> groin if you will and he took pictures thank you know. and, yeah <laughs> i think we know i don't need to see that, that, that that's no all right. so but but it's uh, up there front and center which is cool with with his cameras and he took pictures of of, uh, of kiss too and then he was kind enough to scan them for me and he, i mean fucking hell a, a small arena in 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 copenhagen denmark yeah, with like the, this big show back in 1980. My God, yeah, those pictures, awesome. man, fucking hell. Yes. And speaking of awesome artists, what the fuck are we doing today? We're doing the coop, man. Yes. Alice Cooper, welcome to my fucking nightmare. Yes, yes, we are. We've yes. we've talked about this this record on the show in the past, way back when. Yeah, but. It it deserves a track by track. It deserves to sit oh, yeah. down and go through it. And as as yes. you said, it's one of the best records of all time. 
Yeah, for me, it's up there at, at least. If it's not the top five, maybe it's the top ten. But I, I mention it every once in a while. But, but I, I mean, I change my top top lists every now and then. If you ask me, do a top five at, uh, on the top of your head, I will do a top five. But, I mean, you ask me like ten minutes later, it, it's going to be different. <laughs> but, but it's... It all depends I, on the I, mood. It, it depends on the mood. But th yeah. this is definitely up there. Um, since I, I, I mean, it, if we're like diving into it right now, it's, I mean, Alice Cooper for me, it's like watching a horror movie and I love horror movies <laughs> Yeah, and, and it's, it, this album is sort of like a soundtrack to, to a horror movie. It could, it could easily be written into a script and, and well, it is a movie perfect. actually. Yeah. Yeah. It but is the soundtrack to, to an actual movie. Uh, what? What do you mean? This was an actual movie. The, the Welcome to My Nightmare? Yeah. You didn't know that? No. Yeah. I've been trying like hell to find it and nobody's yeah. got it, but it's an Nobody. actual movie that oh, Alice Cooper you? did. It's got, um, God, just drew a blank on his name. Oh, the fuck I missed that. Um, fuck. Do I have it in my notes? Because, oh, Vincent Price, God damn it, yes, Vincent Price is in it, and obviously we yeah. hear him on track two. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's a, it's an actual actual movie. That's why it sounds like because <laughs> it is. But it's but isn't it? I mean, isn't that a, like a concert? No, but no, it's an no, it's actual... an actual movie, movie, movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Jesus. I did not know that. I didn't. I, I didn't know that until we talked about it last time. And then when I was doing a little research, I came across that little tidbit. And yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so strange. there we go. I, I oh, I've been no. wanting to see that thing ever since I realized it, and I just yeah. I can't find it anywhere. Not even but, pay. But, I can't even pay to see it. Oh okay. But 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 it's. I mean. Hmm. Because I know there is a movie with with live clips and so forth. I have not seen the whole thing, but it's sort of like a concert concert thing. It it might be some kind of musical play type of thing. Okay. I, I'm not sure because I've not seen it. I don't yeah. know much about it, but yeah, from what I understand, it's a regular movie, and yeah, this was oh. the uh, this was the result. Oh, the, the soundtrack. Shit. Is the result well, of that? There you go. Yeah, you learn stuff every day. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. All right. Let's go track by track then. Welcome to my nightmare. Oh what do you my think? god! Oh my god! Are you shitting me? I mean, it's talking about starting out with like, I mean, Alice. I think that people, some people d don't get the greatness of of this guy i mean he leaves his band at alice cooper group and so this is his first like solo thing he did uh on his own and he's sort of like uh, he he talks about this often and and i i i always got what he meant by saying it's supposed to be like theatrical it's supposed to be a. Uh, um it's it's almost vaudeville if you know what i mean groucho marx and 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 whatnot and those were the guys that came to the shows in in the early 70s i mean because they got it and it, you have to to look at alice cooper with it's sort of like from a distance if you know what i mean you can't dive into and say oh my god this is sort of like metallic or kiss or whatever no this is a whole package and listening to this opening track, it's when you hear the the bass just plays there and, and Alice sings. It's I get a Doors vibe about it. Hmm. It's it's sort of like w when you listen to the early Doors stuff. And I'm I'm thinking that this could easily be a homage to his friend Jim Morrison, uh, the way he he presents it. And then when it like halfway in breaks out into a rock and roll song with with 
all of that. I mean, ah, fuck, ah, it's it's great. I just love it. Love yeah, it, love it, love it. It starts out with this like kind of bluesy intro. Yeah. And Alice sings all whispering and mm -hmm. quiet. And I usually fucking hate that kind of music. Like that yeah. singing, that type of singing. I hate it. It's like either fucking sing or don't <laughs> sing. Pick pick one. Okay. Pick one. Yeah. But Alice makes it work with this. It's part yeah. of the see what 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 I love about to piggyback on what you're saying about about Alice Cooper overall, he he's always created an experience. He's always created yeah. this, this show. It's not yeah. just a concert. It's a show. It's a thing you go to. It's a thing yeah. you see and experience. And this song and the way he sings it is exactly that. And that's yeah. why it works. It's part of that whole experience. Yeah, it is. And then, it is. And then the song jumps into that funky groove and then his vocals completely change again. It's just, yeah. um, you know, yeah. something different. Um, you know, the horns, in, I, I'm not a big horn fan, even though back in, in the early days I did play the cornet, but I'm not a big horn guy usually. Mm -hmm. But the horns on this record, again, it adds something to the to the music and it really, I think it, it, it really works. And I don't think yeah. these songs would be as great without the horns. No, I think, I, I think it's just that there, there's something about it. Um, and I do it's like, a how it's a package deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And, and I do love the way the vocals get louder and louder with each yeah. verse. Yeah. And, <laughs> and how he's whispering and then yeah. he's screaming and, and yeah. yeah. And it's, it's snarling and, and they, yeah. it's kind of, Oh fucking hell! It's okay. Yeah, it, it was it was awesome. So yeah, yeah. I it's a great it's a great opening. Yeah, it is to uh, to this movie to this soundtrack record. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, and and it's fun because uh, it, since we're uh, um, moving along here, it's it's the the next song. All of it. It's it's like watching Alice live. Uh, because he he doesn't talk between songs. He doesn't have a um, he, he doesn't speak to the audience. It's like going to a theater. You get to see the play from start to finish, mm -hmm. and yeah. th that's an Alice Cooper show. There is always something going on. You never get bored between the songs. Some bands they they tend to tune their instruments or the the. Um, uh, people don't know oh, what's up. What what do we do now? There's no nobody's talking, nobody's moving. What the hell? But if you watch the stage, there is always something going on. Somebody's running around. There's dolls and there is swords and 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 Alice is an entertainer, mm -hmm. and that's why why going into the next song, Devil's Food, is a great theatrical piece. I think. Mm -hmm. With the ending monologue of Vincent Price. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I got nothing. You take over. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, I, th this is, I think, my favorite song on the record. I just, yeah. it's chaotic. It is. But it's, Alice is telling this story and he's like talk singing in places. And it's just, again, it's yeah. theatrical. It's, it's, it's not just the song. He, this guy takes being a front man to a whole new fucking level. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, I, he's not even a front man. No, it's, it's a completely different thing. Um, yeah. And then the slowdown about a minute and a half and then Vincent Price comes in. Oh my God. It does his little thing. Yeah. About the black widow. I mean, oh. <laughs> it's just highly like, potent I, venom I, of I a spider. That. Yeah, I love that. I mean, it's just it's so odd how you just had that music so low in the background. And Vincent yeah. Price, his voice. If you're old like us, you grew up with Vincent Price <laughs> in the horror movies. I remember when he was on the show, The Brady Bunch. It was like, holy shit, this guy is just a master. The movies that he was in and all that stuff, he was just. I don't know. He, again, talk about an entertainer. He, he, yeah. he just, he took these roles to a whole new level and it always oh, yeah. is, is just something. And, and between his voice and Alice voice together on this song, it's like, holy shit. It's like, yeah, 
Okay. It doesn't get any better than that. No. And then I, I both like and don't like the way the song just cuts off. Yeah. And then the song <laughs> Black Widow starts. It's yeah. like that's it's unnerving. So I like yeah. it because it's almost <laughs> like death in a way. Yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of like, and wow. That's, that and was... that's why he, he, he talks about and leading to death. Yes. The Black Widow, and then Bam. oh my god, it's just it's awesome. It, it it's is, just, it's, it it's is. great. Yeah, I mean Vincent Price for crying out loud, Vincent Price and Alice Cooper. I mean, how good can it get? I mean, it's it's fucking awesome. Yes. And oh man, going into Black Widow, oh my god, you have to start this one. <laughs> I, I don't the know. Chorus I mean. is is a bit creepy. Yeah. I love it. It's it's kind of like a children's song almost, you know, like yeah. like London Bridges or whatever. It, it's sort yeah. of like that, but not. Um, and it's just uh, it's it just one of those great early Alice Cooper songs. Yeah, it's got a great bass groove in it. It's just um, <laughs> the I don't know what a luminary stew is. Or no a luminary stew. I have no idea what the fuck that no. means. No, but it, it's it's a great saying the it's just i don't know man the, the the tempo changes at 240 is just i don't know man it's just it's it's a it's another great classic song yeah it's just it's 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 nuts i actually uh a while back i've read that the 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 song is actually about uh uh a serial killer or or uh mm -hmm something like that but but i i, I just don't know i oh, i interesting I yeah i tend to think that i in in my in my mind it's still a spider uh which is i think <laughs> it's it's way better but I, I i it's the same thing here i i get the feeling of of vaudeville musical cabaret and 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 whatnot i mean it's it's big it's bombastic and still it's contained if you know what i mean mm -hmm. and, and and i mean i believe it's um children or or, or maybe it's high-pitched uh guys going mm -hmm. it's i mean it's <laughs> fucking great black widow yeah, it's a it's a good tune. Yeah, it is. It is. And then we dive into something completely different. Yeah. With some folks. Mm hmm Throwing in this jazzy cabaret. You mentioned cabaret a second ago. Cabaret yeah. style song right in the middle of this rock album. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's stuff like this is not my flavor. No. But I don't know for some reason I I kind of like this. I kind of like it. Yeah, you see. It reminds it's, me a little bit of Queen in places. Yeah. Like something the Queen would do. Um, but, you know, halfway, it changes tempo, it gets fast. And then it, it kind of, now it's a little more of like a rock song. Um, but then it goes back to the the earlier groove. And I don't know, man. It's just, yeah. It's, it's an unusual song. Yeah. But... But it's, it's what I like about the music from the seventies is that you can have this kind of shit. Yeah. You, do, you try doing something like this today and people are going to go, what, what are you doing? Yeah. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, you it's know, nuts. Well, what are but, you doing to Metallica with the black album? You can't do that. <laughs> right. But this is also like typical Alice Cooper doing, doing, I mean, a, a song like some folks, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just the way he is. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you sit there, scratch your head, and thinking, what the hell is going on? But then you get it. It's because it's it fits. Everything fits together. He, it's it's he fits insane. with the one before it and the one after it. It, it yeah. just it's it's like a this little puzzle that all comes together. Yeah. And and this is I I to to people out there who hasn't I mean like you, like Phil and I we sit down and do this track by track and listen to to music and preparing M me myself I lived with this album for so long it's it's in, 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 embedded in my DNA 
but but it, you can't if if we go to to the vinyl part of it listen to this album on on a vinyl record uh, i actually i forgot i have it with me <laughs> you see here there you go there you go cuz you get the feeling um it, it, i'm showing the the album <laughs> i mean people i'm sorry you you only uh, you're driving to work and you can't see that i'm holding up alice cooper's album welcome to my nightmare but but i'm holding it up because you need to listen to this album on vinyl because you are not allowed to skip a beat a track <laughs> or anything because it's it's the full month you get here it's not meant to skip it's not meant to uh oh I'll, I'll listen to a couple of songs and tomorrow i'll go back no none of that at least once in your life listen to this from start to finish or otherwise you won't get it because everything fits together it's not like if you skip and you listen to some folks and you get what the fuck is going on here isn't this supposed to be rock and roll hard rock heavy metal alice cooper and then i get a song like some folks no you don't get it you have to listen to from start to finish it's like a movie you don't pause you don't go to the bathroom. You don't go to get a soda. You sit down in the movie theater from start to finish. Fucking right now. Do it. I shit you not. You With see? the exception of one song. <laughs> After all of that, I let no. you go. No. The, the next song. Yes. The next song is a piece of shit song. I hate oh, that fucking song. For only for women bleed. Sakes. It's a horrible song. Oh no! Oh my god! It just grates on my nerves. I, I, and yeah. I skipped it, so I, I have, <gasps> I, I can't. As oh. soon as that that initial part comes on, yes. I, it's, I have to skip it. I can't listen oh, to this song. No. It's, it's, but it's Stephen, huh? It's Stephen. It's no, stuff about Stephen's youth, like spousal abuse. Or over here. No. no, Stephen's not the next one. Yeah, but it's always everything is is fit together. Everything is fit together, you know. You have to know the story, my friend. Steven is in there in all. Of True. The, yes, True. It is. But and in and this still song not, too. you know what? That's fine. I can still skip the song. <laughs> but, no, don't but, skip but, the song. What, what, what do you have to say about it? I what's your I, take I, on, on it? I love it. I love it. It's a part of Ali's show uh, where um, Cheryl, his wife, comes out on stage, and uh, it's it's a it's a really um, it's a hard topic, but he made a song of it, spousal abuse. Um, it, I, I mean, I connect this to to. To uh, the child Stephen, uh, who's featured in in a lot of Alice's work, and of course the song Stephen will get to that. But I think everything merges together. He talks about this this song, and 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 I think it's it's for me. I haven't read. I sh sometimes I I get sidetracked. I only listen to the music, and I love the music. And I, uh, growing up, I I I didn't speak that good English, and and uh, um, um, and not today either. But but who knows? I mean, some someday maybe I'll learn to speak. But I I better I than my Swedish. You don't want me going <laughs> off on sp <laughs> Swedish right now. <laughs> but I had a hard time growing up. I mean, understanding every word. So, so maybe it's it's me right now going off on 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 limb. But I think that only women bleeds talks to where Stephen was when he was growing up, what he witnessed, and what he became later on. Which which is, I mean, 
what it's all about. It's a storyline. The whole welcome to my nightmare is it's a it's a story story in a, in a story in a story if you know what I mean. Yeah. I, I I just love it. The short answer. I I love only women bleed. I think it's a great song. It it's perfect in his live set. Um, I I just dig it. I just dig it. <laughs> that's but that's that's me. Hey, some it's it's a big song for him. I mean, it's it's yeah. one of his more popular songs. So I mean, it's. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm probably in the minority as I usually am yeah. in, in these things. But do you yeah. skip it all always? Do you always skip 100%, it? Hundred percent. I can't listen to it. Oh, I can't. I cannot listen to that song. It it bugs the. It grates on my nerves, man. I want to go kill babies. Oh my god! It's just no, Shit. no. But I dare you to listen to the whole album, including I, this one. Hey, everybody can. <laughs> everybody can. <laughs> I would skip that song. Oh my God! Okay, the Department of Youth. Then, oh, it's like if Kiss and ACDC got together and and had a <laughs> had a song, it would be this one. Oh man. my God! It's just good old rock and roll, right? It I is. mean, it's just awesome. It's yeah. got it's it's even got like a little bit of a punky vibe. Yeah, which I, I know it's interesting. I never thought of Alice Cooper having a punk vibe to him even though he did a lot of shit on stage that he wasn't allowed to do that was illegal in a lot of places and yeah um obviously shocking and different and he he did create his own path like we were yeah. saying earlier you know what what rock and roll guy is going to put something like you know some of these songs on on a record he he did what he wanted to do and yeah in, in that in that sense he's he's very punk but this song i don't know it's got like a, a little bit of a, a punk vibe and yeah. i also see where the white stripes got their inspiration for um <laughs> seven nation army too or whatever that fucking song is called yeah yeah i i just love this song i mean from the opening riff to the strumming before alice starts to sing and and how it builds up and and it's it's really powerful and you got that whole like youth brigade i mean believing in their power where the yeah. apartment of youth whoa and yeah. you and you get to i'm i mean you can't i i can't help myself i go yeah every time <laughs> i hear the song live it's go yeah they wear the department of youth man Fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking great. It's I don't know. It's an awesome song. I, I I dig it. Yeah, yeah. Cold Ethel. Cold Ethel. Cold Cold, cold Ethel. Ethel. Yeah, but it's it's Alice w- with his like wicked sense of humor. It's <laughs> it's he's so twisted, and he he comes up with this. I mean, listen to the lyrics. It's it's. I mean, it, <laughs> I just love it. It's, it's, I, I don't know what to say. It, it, it's, it's I'm, a, yeah. It, it, it's I'm a, feeling biased when, when, when I, I am supposed to talk about this album because it's, I'm so in <laughs> love with it. Yeah. It's, it's, this song, uh, like it epitomizes the rock, hard rock music of the 70s. It's, it's yeah. like every, Every band back then was part of this song. Yeah. You know, it was just, every song is just a spinoff of this one. Yeah. If you will. It's just, it's awesome. The groove, the guitar, and we got to talk about the copious amounts of cowbell in this song too. I mean, (laughs) you went nuts with the cowbell. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. (laughs) It's, 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 uh, it's, it's great. But but I mean he, I mean he, on this I mean he's he's such a lyricist I mean the the way he writes lyrics sometimes it's it's both humor and 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 you you I don't know I mean it's it's just Alice the the way he he moves with his words and and did he just say what I thought he said Well I need to check that out <laughs> and it's sort of like damn. Dude, mm-hmm. yeah, Cole Ethel and her skeleton kiss. We made love under the refrigerator. I mean, we met last night and made how is it? we made love last night under the re- refrigerator by the refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator light. light. Yeah. Yes, yes. 
I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, th- you, you gotta love Alice Cooper. He's it, he's yeah. just he's 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 this wicked dude that did all this stuff on stage. But then he's also this this kind of funny guy. You see him yeah. in commercials and stuff, and he's not afraid to make fun of himself, no, or a situation, or, or just be funny, which you wouldn't expect out of this guy from the seventies huh. that used to chop heads off of things. Yeah, and <laughs> you know, he's I, just he's, he just seems like he's be a cool dude to hang out with. Yeah. You know? it, it, it's it's I I heard um an interview like some. 20 25 years ago and he said um uh what and and in the universe what scares you aren't you scared about all the stuff no 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 it, i mean alice cooper is he's talking about himself in in the third person if you know what i mean and it's all sort of like no uh the the news on tv that's scary that's really scary stuff um I, I mean this is a show Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. This is a show, so so you're not supposed to. I mean, uh, everybody that comes to an Alice Cooper show, he said, they, they uh, hopefully know that it, that it is a show. So the stuff that scares me, it, it's the news. <laughs> I yeah. mean, so and and mm-hmm. I was really taken aback about that because he's right. I mean, this this is a show. Even though he he sings lines like "I have to I have to do another one," um, she's so cool in bed. She ought to be Ethel is dead. I mean, come on, <laughs> write stuff like that. It's great. Um, oh yep. man, cold Ethel. Cold Jesus. Ethel. Yeah, good song. Good it song. is. It is. And we've come to the end all good yes. things must come to an end oh yeah and now we're entering track eight years ago yes circus cabaret theater all of it an alice creepy voice in that in that mix mm-hmm. it's awesome stuff yeah it's, it's a great way to close out the record yeah the, yep. the creepy circus music and that little kid voice singing yeah it just it's unnerving it's it is it's so i don't know there's some about creepy little kids i think that's why children <laughs> of the corn took off that movie because there's just something about children creepy little corn. kids oh my god they, they don't do horror movies like they did no i you, mean you can't for, find a good horror movie no anymore. no i try i try man and and they're like okay no no that's not good i watched um what did i watch like it was some exorcist movie exorcist what the, fuck uh, the was new it? one yeah it was like a new one and it was like oh. okay what what is this garbage like no 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 no, no, no. no. i'm i'm having having my uh, halloween month at the moment where i watch horror movies old horror movies so i'm i'm, I'm right in the middle of uh, uh a nightmare on elm street mm. so i'm uh, at movie number three Green okay. Warrior, which, which is one of my favorites. The the first one with Johnny Depp and and, and mm-hmm. whatnot, and and this Dream Warrior with Darken, yes, into the fire and Dream Warrior. But it's it's so it's so corny, so cheesy, and it, <laughs> but still it's so fucking great. Because uh, I mean, Freddy Krueger. I mean, what's not to love about that dude? I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, and and and, uh, and I'm before this, I'm I'm I have the box set of, of this m- movie, um, which is like I think it's seven movies or something like that, and my favorites are are one, three, and I think, uh, oh, the Wes Craven's Nightmare, but I ha- only watched that like one or two times so I, I can't remember it but then i move into the halloween franchise because mm. that's my all-time favorite horror movie that and jaws so i have to watch them but J- jaws for me it's a summer movie i, I don't know why yeah I, well I, yeah because I, I mean it, it's the fourth of july man that's yeah, it's when it takes yeah. place and and, and so all that. i usually watch that in 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 in, in, in the middle of the summer but yeah, uh, I, we've been, so we've been watching it. it. It's my wife's favorite movie. She's got a poster up yeah. in her office of the, of Jaws and, and, and all that. Yeah. And, 
and uh, we've been watching some of the sequels. We just watched like four or something the yeah. other night. <laughs> it wasn't good, but no. two and three were actually not bad. No, I, I one I, not as good great. as the first though. But no, no, but yeah. I get you, and and it's the same feeling I get when I listen to to this album. It's it's a great horror movie it's a great story it's it's all of the good stuff that that i grew up with what watching jason and and mike myers and freddy krueger and and jaws mm -hmm. and, and whatnot it's yeah. i just love it takes me back yes and again it's an experience and that's why this album holds up what yes. is it almost 50 years later yeah <laughs> like what it we're... is we're a couple of years shy of 50 years on this thing, right? Yeah, 1975, yeah. I think this came out. Yep. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it holds up. And for, it, yeah, that, that's why you know you got something talent right there yeah. is when it holds up yes. like that. Yeah. So moving into the next track, Steven. We get to Steven right now. Oh, wait. Yeah. What am what? I thinking? Okay. You I know what? I, I read my know. notes wrong. Yeah. There's oh. way more songs on here. That's not the last yeah. one. No, the hell am I listen. thinking? Just ignore me. I don't, yes, ignore me. I will. Okay. I, I'm going to still talk about Stephen, though. Yeah, let's talk about Stephen. Yeah. The child that wakes up and, and, and realizes he committed murder. What the hell is going on here? Stephen! Oh, I mean, it's he's captured and incarcerated and he breaks free and, and whatnot. It's... I mean, it's supposed to be in the story. It's it's like I told you before. It's I think that only women believe that it's it's connected. I mean, people out there who, who have like um, do analyze this album even more than I have, which I haven't really, because I just listen to the music and I just love every part of it on reading the lyrics, but. It's my own interpretation of, of it. So I think everything fits together. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so, Stephen. The Tubular you... Bells intro. <laughs> I mean, I love that. I love yeah. that that's the, you know, the Exorcist. Just yeah. mention the Exorcist. And then we get to this, yeah. the Tubular Bells sounding intro. Yeah. The orchestral sound that kicks yeah. in about a third of the way through the song yeah. and it just it's such a such a well arranged song yeah it's just it so crazy it you out yeah yeah i mean yeah, yeah. it's very, it's a very disturbing song very yeah. disturbing song <laughs> yeah it is it is um you know i i like it because it it just it fits into that experience i'm talking about it, yeah it, it just i don't know and then at the end, the, the tubular bells turn into strings. They do it with yeah. the strings, which is just fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah I just, it is. It's such a great way to close out that song. It just, oh, man. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then, then it, I mean, The Awakening, which is the next track. I mean, it's it's like we, we talked to, but before. It's like uh, the horror movie genre all over mm -hmm. again but but in, in, in i mean um it's 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 like everything is merged together i mean it's it's uh, it it blows my mind every time i listen to it because everything i mean it's so genius that i mean to write a, a, a an album like this to i mm -hmm. mean not every song is is my favorite but but I couldn't go without any of them because it, it, even though the, I think there are songs on there which are sort of like well hmm but when when I listen to it I, I it's sort of like if you you see the the, the Jaws movie and all of a sudden you you see the Jaws attacking the 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 boat the orca and and all of a sudden. Uh, when when he attacks, it's it's clipped. I mean, it's cut out to mm -hmm. to something completely different on, on the beach, and and you don't get to see the jaws. I mean, the, the shark anymore. It's it's sort of like what the fuck is going on here? You can't have one without without the other, if you know what I mean. 
right everything right. is is supposed to be there yeah so what's I your agree. take on, on you this? know i i love the way it rolls in from the last song yeah keeps that really disturbing feel you know you got this hungry kid in a basement so much chaos going on in this song yeah because yeah. um, the guitar <laughs> seems to be playing a completely different song yeah um but but it's on purpose i think yeah, to give it, it, it that is. disoriented feel yeah. to it right it's not like megadeth that it's just whatever the fuck that was this is on purpose to give it that oh like what the hell's yeah. going on right so yeah i it great yeah great song great yeah. song yeah and, escape and, and, oh go and, ahead yeah yeah the, no, oh i was going to to escape I mean, okay everything it's you're gonna it's, escape it's, i'm yeah. escaping <laughs> yeah, i'm no escaping I can't, no, I can't. With, <laughs> with, with, it's it's like the, the madness you were talking about it's debauchery i mean <laughs> steven gets out and and everything is fucking chaos and 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 that's the end to this great like concept album if you know what i mean yeah it's, i mean everything i mean you couldn't have escape without without welcome to my nightmare department of youth or or any of the other songs so you have to have this too mm -hmm. i mean it's i mean it's it's rock and roll yeah. man yeah i think roll. it's got that department of youth feel to it yeah. this one does yeah. it, it, it's yeah. like i feel like this i could totally hear kiss doing this one yeah yeah, yeah. I, I get it's, it's a it's a great song and, yeah. and and talking about closing closing songs we, we talked about this before some of the some of the albums that we talked about before were beginning uh, i mean we're sitting there wondering what the fuck did they close with this song yeah that's a horrible one talking about going out on top with this one it's it's yep. it just fits start strong and strong strong yeah. throughout it's yeah. i i gave it a 10 for 10 because yeah. it's, it's it, so well oh, yeah. put together yep. it's it's an experience it tells a story it's it goes you, you mentioned concept album a second ago i think it, it goes well beyond like something that mind crime did right oh, it yeah. goes way beyond a concept record this is yeah. this is something i don't know That's have we ever one. really seen anything like this again on record that gives it such a power like such a powerful image and and no. i don't know it's it's no. it, it deserves to be up there i think oh yeah oh yeah even even with even women bleed on it i still give it a 10 for 10 so that tells yeah. you how good the rest of the record is that even with that shitty song that i can't listen to <laughs> it's still a 10 for 10 <laughs> my god shitty song jesus it's it's great stuff mm -hmm. yes it's a 10 for 10 people welcome to my nightmare listen to don't believe phil when he says don't listen to only we bleed listen to the song i dare you people from start to finish on vinyl record maybe you could get it here at the sons of vinyl record store you probably could Who knows? you see mm -hmm. right here. Right here. there there you go go there yeah go there yeah. and uh, oh and for people that are only listening i have to because Phil just pointed to the address. It's Krusegatan 23 in Malmo, Sweden. Mm -hmm. There you go. There so you look go. me up. You and can that's why Mike Google it. speaks the Swedish parts because I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you can actually Google Sounds of Vinyl at the, at the moment, Sounds of Vinyl record store. And, and it's in there in the company profile with pictures and everything. And where to go. And, and how to take the bus and how to ride your bike and how to drive your car hmm. to the store. And I have that. to look that up and see good directions from here. Let's see how long it'll take me. <laughs> I'm going to choose walk and see what it does. <laughs> I dare you, my friend. I dare you. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that is, that's some good stuff. There we go. All yes. right. Are we ready for the big announcement? Oh, yeah do it you want you want to do it or you want me to do it oh you can do it i do it okay so this episode is the beginning of something i was gonna say the beginning of the end but it's not really the end 
But there's only going to be, after this show airs, four more Sounds on Vinyl episodes. Hmm. After that, well, you'll have to wait for that announcement to see what comes after. Ooh. Ooh. To see what comes after. But, yes, the Sounds on Vinyl show will end. Um, I think that it's December 12th, I think, whatever that that second Thursday is or, yeah, I think it's December 12th. Um, that will be the final show. Yep. And uh, as we get through these episodes, we're going to be talking about what comes after that. Oh, yeah. Because it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. It is. It yes. is. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can feel the tension in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to keep listening to know what happens next. Oh but yeah. yeah, we've got we've got some big plans, really exciting stuff coming up. Um, so like I said, it's sort of the beginning of the end, but it's not really the end. It's the beginning of something new. The, something new. Something yes. new. I like something that. Exciting. Something new. Yes. Something yes. New. yes. Something barred, something blue. No, that's something. No, that's really bad. It's we're not yeah, gonna go into that. <laughs> <laughs> And right. if if you're close to Malmo, Sweden, come visit me in the store. It's free coffee and cookies and vinyl talk. Vinyl talk. And there you whatnot. go. Yes. All right. Go do that. Make it happen. Yes. All right. right now. Because I'm in the right store. Right now. Right now. Because he's in the store. So if you're listening yes. to this, chances yes. are the store is open and you could go there right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. You could listen to this the show on the way to the store. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See? I open at 4 o'clock Thursday when this episode airs. So between 4 yeah. p.m. and 7 p.m., the Sounds on Vinyl record store is open. And, yeah. of course, on Saturdays between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. There you go. The, yes. Awesome. All right. Well, until next week. Or next time, rather. Next time. Later. Later. <laughs>